Hey, it's Mike Monday here. So why do you procrastinate? Even though you really love making music and you desperately want to do it, why is it that you end up procrastinating? Not doing something that you supposedly really want to do. Sometimes it can cause you to think, well, maybe I don't really want to do it. Well, it turns out there are two main reasons. And in this video, I'm going to reveal them and, I, and you're going to discover my simple method, the procrastination buster for beating both of them. So the first main reason you procrastinate is that your decision load is too high. So what I mean by decision load is if you think of your music making process as a very long list of very small decisions, while well, some are slightly bigger than being very small, then it can start to get overwhelming. You see, the problem is every single one of these decisions is a potential obstacle, a potential barrier, a potential point where you get stuck, distracted or overwhelmed, especially when you have a lot of unmade decisions. Each of these decisions is a potential procrastination point. And the second reason you procrastinate is that hit of fear you get when you think about doing the task you're procrastinating about. So this could be because before you're actually going to do the task, because it went badly the last time or because you're not quite sure uh, how it's going to go. That hit of fear makes you procrastinate and do something else instead. Or it could be that you're worried about what completing the task might mean. So for instance, finishing a piece of music might mean you get criticism or you might think, well, maybe it won't be good enough or even what getting to the next stage of the process might mean. So if you're unsure about how to mix something down properly or how to arrange something pro properly, you procrastinate and just constantly add stuff to the loop or fiddle around with the arrangement without moving on to the next bit. So now I'm going to give you a weapon, the procrastination buster, which is a simple process for beating both of these potential procrastination points. So the first step is when you're away from the DAW, when you're away from the studio, make all the decisions you possibly can about what you're gonna do. What are you gonna work on? When are you gonna work on it? For how long are you gonna work on it? And what are you going to do to the thing you're working on? Write all of these decisions that you make down. Then, out of those decisions that you've already made, make a checklist. In other words, put them in order. And step three is to estimate the amount of time each of these actions that you're going to take will take. Then step four is work out how much time you actually have in the coming week to take these actions. And step five is out of that, make an exciting deadline, which is actually achievable. Then before you actually take action, double check, are there any decisions I haven't yet made that I can make now? I mean, you won't be able to make all of the creative decisions you might have to make, but there may well be some decisions that you can make now. Then simply take action. Now, the reason this weapon, the procrastination buster, works so well is because by reducing your decision load, you are in effect freeing up the available processing power of your brain to make the really important creative decisions rather than all the piddling little ones that don't matter so much. And by making the decisions ahead of time, you're cutting also cutting down the number of procrastination points. All of those decisions, which are potential times when you could get distracted or overwhelmed or stuck, you're cutting them down. And then by creating a checklist of the actions you have to take, you are basically creating what is essentially an automatic routine. As a result, you are much less likely to get all into your own head and ruminate and start to get nervous about what you're doing and second guess yourself. You just implement. You have point A and point B and the steps you have to take to get there. Now, I do understand that by doing things like making checklists and stuff like that, it can feel like you are taking away from the magic of the creative process. You're not allowing yourself to find that inspiration. But in fact, what actually you'll find when you use the procrastination buster is that by freeing up your brain, you're freeing up the processing power of your brain by making all of the less important decisions, you're freeing up that processing power to make the really important creative decisions and giving yourself more space to be inspired. You are in effect focusing on what's really important, the magic 
of making music. So I really want you to deploy the procrastination buster in your life and music. Trust me, it works. It's really good stuff, but it's not gonna work unless you actually do it, of course. So, and let me know down in the comments uh, how it's been working out for you. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you found this useful or enjoyed it. And until next time, onwards and upwards.